Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Cory, and I am back with more Minecraft story mode. Um, I wasn't expecting this to be out quite so soon. It's been like two weeks since this, the, or since episode one was released, and I haven't actually posted any of episode one as of recording this. So, yeah, I've been sick lately, so I've been waiting to put it up. But yeah, this is a little shock when I saw that this was out. So, yeah, I'm going to be rushing to get all of episode 1 and 2 out pretty quickly, because <laughs> who knows when episode 3 comes out. But, yeah, um, let's get started. Boop. Uh, assembly required. Start episode 2. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Mm. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes thrown together by fate. Where was Lucas? Must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? No, we're gonna need the entire Order of Stone, including Ivan or whatever the whatever his name was. The secret fifth member. This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this! Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time! Oh, don't say that. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're going to get Alagard, get her to help us, and we're going to save the world. Oh, I hope you're right. We you definitely anymore. stand a better chance with Alagard's help. Uh, Jesse? <gasps> it's another gas. Put my hands on the keyboard because I knew Wait, something was gonna happen. More gas. The mine carts. Do something about the gas. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? Um. Yeah. Let's use the sword. So long as you really know what you're doing with it. only needed to. Okay, mm -hmm. we're all set Ruben. to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come! No originality in these names. You're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. I wow. almost preferred Eligardia. Someday I'd or really Eligardian get to visit or something. Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? I don't see why not. <laughs> Nether say die. That was chapter one already?
Jason Latino, really? I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege, ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch! Her voice is very familiar. I say that for every person, but... A lot of voice actors are used for a lot of things. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in! Stop, you'll f that. Ugh, <laughs> crap. Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? <laughs> Maybe you I can... mean, I'm no Eligard. Maybe you can but I'm still out. pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. <sighs> All Look, of these guys' I can tell voices you not are familiar. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year. I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel. Okay, Eligard's old friend. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. I, you would have said that Jesse, no matter what I said. show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. No. Might not be a bad idea. No way. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Because I don't trust Better this dude. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Her mouth didn't move. <laughs> Cowapult. Okay. And now I can interact with, wow, everything. Uh, well, let's start with the closest thing. <laughs> I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Schoolboy. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. But some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. Need a hand with anything? <laughs> oh! You're, you're serious? Ha! Hilarious! No. From you? No. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Another familiar voice actor. I'm gonna love seeing the credits on this episode. Lava Disco. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, 
Here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. Is there any way I can incite violence between these two? <laughs> what am I looking at exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Definitely not. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Ooh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little, uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Well, I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? What little lies is he whispering? I told him I wouldn't tell you, but he thinks your music is terrible. What little, uh, I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy. <laughs> yo, uh, schoolboy. We're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people? Guess I just call them like I see them. Ooh, you are just... Uh, uh, well, I'll steal well, that You know what later. I call that? Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. I like to imagine a few of them are happy. Hello there, I- Welcome to Mabel's oh Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed, be astounded, let your wonders be compounded! Why are you doing this to cows? Oh, spare me the false compassion. Deep down in all people, there lurks the overwhelming desire to throw cows. Admit it! And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown, but now I am here and the cows Boomtown, are applying! Is that dude is? Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry friend, tapped out. I really hope the only way to get it isn't to steal that one. Can't help but notice you checking out my cowapult, friend. It's got an easy-to-use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first? <gasps> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. Especially uh, the ones that He doesn't survive. want to, so I won't make him. Not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. <laughs> Don't you worry, I won't let them hurt you. Oh man, stone! Jackpot! That's some nice stone. Still warm. Can I find a stick and make a sword? <laughs> eh, old man. Hi there! What? What? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there! Oh! This guy does not sound I old just at said all. Hi! Much better. What can I do for you? You want to see my TNT cannon? Not really. You say something? Speak up now! Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool. Theoretically. If you don't kill the person in the process. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. Mm -hmm. Don't snort it. 
can't talk to Olivia, I'm guessing. Oh, I can. Hey, have you seen all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. Why don't you try your hand at something? Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. I would have thought you'd be up in people's faces, talking about inventions. I want to, but I'm a little worried. I might know Redstone where we come from, but these people are the real deal, Jesse. I mean, I don't even know how they're making some of these things. You're just as good as them, Olivia. Just be confident. Maybe, but thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> yeah, Olivia is the Eligard of our group. <laughs> So, crafting a repeater. How do you do that? We need three stone, two redstone torches, and one pile of redstone dust to make one. So I still need so two torches. So trying to make a command block in there? I know! I heard that too! I'm actually not sure how I feel about that. I mean, there's no way we misheard her, right? If she can really make another command block, maybe we could use it. I don't know, Jesse. That sounds pretty risky. You saw what happened when Ivor tried to control a command block. Very true. Okay. I'm going to keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Okay. That seems like a bad idea, but I want to use it so bad. It's not safe! Duck! Watch your language, Missy! Whoops. Uh oh. What did I blow up? Oh, I blew up the cow bolt. Well, that's certainly going to come back in. <laughs> do me no good. Auto farmer. Oh, I see these you all the time. You must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. I'll just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome. Thanks. Oh, okay, so I can craft one now. So maybe blowing up that thing wasn't so bad after all. Flying machine. I want to talk to Sandy before Hello. I just flip it on. Why, hey there. I'm Sandy, and what you see before you is the future. The future kind of looks like a lump of slime blocks. Ah, don't let the looks deceive you. This here is a genuine flying machine. Wow, so I guess you don't mind heights then. I'd be a little scared going way up in the sky like that. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Scared? Who's scared? I'm not scared of heights at all. I don't believe you. I'm lying. I'm totally terrified of them. And yet you want to... Fly? What can I say? The heart wants what the heart wants. And your heart wants a heart attack. Flying machine, huh? Does it actually fly? You better believe it, but uh, only straight up for now. Any chance you've got a spare repeater? Sorry, no dice. Well, I'll leave you to it. Looks like you've got a lot of work to do. Well, good chatting with you, but... I better get back to work. Those skies aren't going to explore themselves. Okay, let's flip it on. Because this couldn't possibly go wrong. Oh 
Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. So high. Going so very high. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my invention. Spent ages on it. Wow. Well, it seems like it will go up until you die. Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. Mm, I did basically just murder her, so... Okay, I think we've talked to everybody. Okay. As much as I think keeping these crafting supplies is better, I don't really want to mess with the cow dancing machine okay. thing. I can do this. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Oh, I don't know recipes. I'll give it a shot. One, two, three. Okay. Done! Pretty nice. If I may come Literally had myself. no idea how to do that. Just guessed. Who's this person over here? Is that a lady or a dude? Okay. Okay. That's a step in the right direction. He flipped the middle one. Switch is on! That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. So that opens that. Bam. Door opened. Switch is on! Okay. Good. Good. Well, at least that was straightforward. Wow, here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. She better. I don't want to just use this one. Okay, it will make sand fall. Uh, foreseeably opening a secret passage? Huh. Same with this Simple, one. Simple, but effective. Uh, well. Redstone stuff, stuff ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. What are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Don't break that, flip the switch. Oh, just lower the interval. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Go. 
didn't get Nicely crushed. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh, I'm sure. Huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Try not to touch anything until we know what it does, okay? I wasn't gonna touch anything. I was just going to look really carefully. Come on. With your hands. Moving. In a very tactile way. them well the obvious answer is to flip this switch which means something awful is going to happen or that's not. awesome so when do the really deadly traps happen oh uh, how do these work I need to remember Kids. Are those bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. Maybe she likes bats. Oh, we can talk to Olivia. This close to meeting Eligard. Getting excited? Like you wouldn't believe. I wonder what she'll really be like in person. I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Delivery latency? Speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's run. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants <laughs> with a stupidly adorable pig, that is! <laughs> Jessie, she thinks we're her new assistants. Eligard! No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you! Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy, grab me a blaze guy. rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Sure. Okay. Olivia. Olivia! Olivia? Can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Whoops. Come on, come on, come on. Big winner, big winner, big. Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts gone. <laughs> Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Gabriel. Was it Calvin? Calvin? If I say this. You know about Ivor? 
He's created a terrible monster. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? I've already used it. Not to it. seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yes, he gave it to me so that I could find the Order. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? I don't think this is a good this idea. This is the Eligard you're talking to, who is me? If you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. Or and maybe will you help me make one. It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here. In my brain. <sighs> I could help too. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. I don't think Fantastic. we should, but. Oh, Eligard, don't be mad at Olivia. Is Olivia gonna be mad at me because I decided to help her? Like, would Olivia have been the one to help if I had said no? <clears throat> oh. I feel so bad for her. Oop. That was gonna be up. Nope, not gonna work. times we're gonna have to try. Maybe we shouldn't have helped make the command bo command block. I don't have a wooden sword, I have a gold 
some sort. Over here! This way! Jesse! I hit the button properly, so this must just be thing you have to do. Don't stare and look at it. Get through the portal before it turns it off. Oakland's razor. 